In this video, we are going to have a look at trig identities and the common IB math exam questions that they ask that require using our trig identities over here. Okay, so I'm going to start with an example. If the question said sine theta, given that sine theta is equal to four on five, I'm hoping that we can link this to a triangle and we can think, well, sine is opposite over hypotenuse. This must be the opposite. This must be the hypotenuse. So if I were to draw some triangle where this is theta, the opposite would be four and the hypotenuse would be five. So hopefully just with sine theta equals four and five, we can picture this triangle down here. Now what a common IB exam question then asks is to find, find cos theta. And we can find cos theta by using the Pythagorean identity. This is one of the trig identities. Now I'll use the formula and then I'll show you why it makes sense. So if we just apply this formula here, this formula says, well, cos squared theta plus sine squared theta is equal to one. I know sine theta is four on five. I just don't know cos theta. So I'll write cos squared theta plus now sine squared theta will just be my sine theta squared. That's what sine squared theta means. So this will be equal to one cos squared theta plus, plus 16 on 25 is equal to one. If I subtract the 16 on 25 over, I'll get cos squared theta is one minus 16 on 25. Now one is the same as 25 on 25. So if I subtract 16 on 25, I will get nine on 25 and therefore cos theta, I can find by taking the square root of both sides and we're going to get, it's actually plus or minus and I will discuss the plus and minus bit, but it'll be three on five. So we use the Pythagorean identity to get from sine to cos and we can do the opposite. We can, if we are given cos, we can do sine. And hopefully if, if, if this, this name now makes sense because the Pythagorean identity relates to Pythagoras. Pythagoras means uh, that formula would have helped us find this adjacent length. It just would have been three because this is a three, four, five triangle. And cos of theta is just adjacent over hypotenuse, three on five. So this, this formula here that I put a star next to this supports that if we get given sine or cos, as a, as a ratio, we can find the other just using the Pythagorean identity or just drawing a triangle and using Pythagoras. So that's one of the identities. Now, tan theta, tan theta, let's have a look at our same example. And this one, it would be opposite over adjacent, which is four on three. And the trig identity for tan theta is sine theta over cos theta. And if we think about what sine theta was sine theta was four on five, four on five. And if we divide that by cos theta, which was three on five, if we have a fraction over a fraction where the denominators were the same, they cancel out. So we four on three, which we can see from our diagram up here. So this is another trig identity that we need to commit to our memory. Uh, tan theta is sine over cos, uh, and it's just going to be uh, using, uh, if, you, if you already know sine and cos, you can just use uh, that formula and cancel out your denominators because they will be the same. They're both the same H, the hypotenuse. Now the double angle formulas are a little bit trickier. The proofs of these are quite difficult and we don't need them uh, for, for most of your IB math exams. So uh, this is just saying that if we want to find sine of two theta, so sine of, and we're going to double whatever angle that we had, we need to use a formula to solve that. And it's just going to be two times sine theta times cos theta. So for example, if we wanted to find sine of two theta in our question, it will be two times sine theta times cos theta. So two times, and it'll be three on five. Oh, sine theta was actually four on five four on five and cos theta was three on five and two is the same as two on one. So if we multiply the tops, we're going to get eight times three is 24 on 25. So it's a bit of a interesting answer, but a sine of two theta is 24 on 25. 
And cos of 2 theta, we can find by actually using any of these three options. There's three equations for cos 2 theta. And if you have sine theta and not cos theta, I recommend using this one because you, there isn't a cos theta in this equation. If you have cos theta, but not sine theta, you can use this one. If you have both, you can just use this first one. Okay, so these questions are, are very common. They'll give you either sine or cos. You need to find the other one. And then they might ask you to find sine 2 theta and cos 2 theta. And you just need to apply uh, these four trig identities. Okay, I recommend practicing a bunch of questions. Good luck.